Hey church family, I want to give you a quick rundown about some of the things we have coming up very shortly. This Sunday, very important, we are hosting our family worship camp right after worship. So that's going to be lunch provided. It really helps us if you can go ahead and sign out. You can do so at the link below. But part of that is us just having some intentional time of talking and learning. How do we connect and learn about Jesus in the midst of worship for our families, for teens, and for children? There's information online. We'd love for you to be there if you can be there. So take a look at that. I also want to make sure you saw that this upcoming Wednesday on February 14th, you might think, oh, that's Valentine's Day. No, that is also Ash Wednesday this year. You might have also seen our time because we're hosting a prayer and worship service for Ash Wednesday. And you looked at the time and you thought, surely not. That is not a typo. We are actually gathering early in the morning on 6 thir- at 6.30 a.m. this year for Ash Wednesday. And part of that, and I, I think about this big picture, is that we want to create very intentional counter- counter-formation ways that we pursue Jesus. And so perhaps you've never been part of a prayer and worship service that, um, for Ash Wednesday. You never come to a morning service like this. I'd love for you to experience it just to come early in the morning and to pursue and seek God. And also what Ash Wednesday is, is we're starting the season of Lent. We're starting this journey to the cross following Jesus. And it's a unique season where we can practice all kinds of different rhythms that allow us to be closer with God. So what I'd say is I'd love to see you there. It is early, I know. Um, It's also going to be in-person only. So the reality is, is that you can't just pop on a live stream or Zoom. You got to come and be in person with the people of the church. And so I realize it might be a challenge, but I think it's worth it. And I would love to see you there and to worship with you during that time. Emotionally Healthy Relationships started this past week, and we have our personal finance class starting this upcoming week. We've shared a lot about those. If you really want to jump on, don't miss it. Join in the journey of these classes on Tuesday nights. We also have our women's Bible study that just started up. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to reach out to us. We just want to create the space for God to do the work in community with the people of Bethel. And the last thing I want to mention is that as part of a fundraiser for um, this upcoming team from Mexico that's coming to be part of ministry here with us in the summer, we're doing a fundraiser for the Bethel Cookbook. Now, it existed far before when I came to Bethel, but what that means is that you, the people of Bethel, share recipes and that that gets compiled and that people at some point can purchase like the cookbook for the recipes of Bethel. There's a first edition. This is going to be the second edition. So you don't want to hold off submitting your entries, but also participating in it. So if you have a recipe that you'd like, you can see our newsletter this week, but the main way to participate is just at this point to email melanie at discoverbethel.com with that recipe. And we can include that in all this, the second edition of the Bethel cookbook. That's all we have for you this week. We love you, Bethel, and we look forward to seeing you next whenever we do.